Good morning children. This session is meant for class 12, the English score lesson 3, prose, Deep Water by William O. Douglas. Well, you may ask the theme of this story. The theme of this story is the greatest fear we fear is the fear itself. Human greatest fear is the fear itself. So we must overcome fear of anything. This story is about this uh, gentleman Douglas and his childhood fear of uh, you know getting into water. Actually he was so terrorized to get into water that he never wanted to go near water. A tragedy took place when he was two to three years old. His father took him to a sea beach in California. He just put him near the beach and went into water. The waves knocked him down and swept on him. He was buried in water. He was just two to three years old. He was terrorized by the you know, strong force of the waves. But his father had only laughed at that. This, I mean, tragedy in his early childhood made him always terrorized with water and therefore he avoided going near water. But once again, a misadventure took place. He, he just, you know, he, his fear of water still remained in his heart. He tried to learn swimming uh, by, you know, uh, imitating the other boys. He went just beginning to fit at ease in the water when a mishap occurred. Once he went to a swimming pool, he went just, you know, it was at YMCA, um, yes, swimming pool. He went there alone. He went to the pool one day and found there was no one. He didn't have the courage to go into water alone. Therefore, he sat on the side of the beach, uh, side of the pool, and waited for someone to come. Soon, a, a bully came. A huge, a strongly built, muscular boy came and threw him into deep water, into the pool. He was in trouble. Time and again, he tried to come out of water, but all the time, he found himself inside water and whenever he opened his eyes he saw nothing in front of his eyes there was only water so this really became a i mean tragic incident for him he was so frightened that even after trying again and again he was not able to come out of water his feet seemed to be like uh, heavy weight and all efforts to come out of water and breathe in became a failure. He was totally out of breath when his feet touched the bottom. Still, with all his strength, he made a spring upward. He came up slower than he had thought. He opened his eyes and saw nothing but water. A sheer terror struck his mind. He came up to the surface and started breathing the surface of the water. He tried to breathe but swallowed water and choked. Douglas tried to bring his legs up, taking him to the bottom, but all the time he failed. He had lost all his breath. His lungs acted and his head throbbed. He remembered his strategy of survival. He tried again and again, and every time he was pushed back into the deep water. He could understand that he was shrieking underwater. Only his heart and his pounding of the head said that he was still alive. But after some time, he found himself on the, you know, side of the pool. And he was sleeping uh, with his stomach up and was vomiting. That incident really broke all his courage. He was totally shattered inside. Uh, and therefore he decided now to overcome this fear. This time he employed an instructor to teach him how to swim. 
he learned swimming with the help of the instructor the instructor you know uh, put a belt around his uh, body and and made him go into water and he just uh, tied a rope along with the belt allowed him to relax and swim and later on he gradually learned swimming even without uh, a rope and belt he had, so the instructor taught him to breathe while swimming and eventually he learned how to swim but he still you know lacked something his intensity of being an independent swimmer didn't come up in his mind he decided to really test himself one day after training was finished douglas wondered if he could be uh, if he could be terrorized when he could be alone so he went you know he went to a lake wentsworth in new york hemisphere just alone and he swam up 2 miles at a stroke when he finished his swimming for 2 miles he still decided to go further so the next time he decided to really test himself whether he was really out of fear so an old sensation came to haunt him but this time dugla was strong he swam second time against the warm lake he went he swam to the other side of the lake he was thrilled with joy he overcame his fear so when he had succeeded in swimming over the warm lake in hemisphere uh, in hemis uh, in in usa in at the place called uh, warm lake uh, at uh, yes he he succeeded in overcoming his fear the opportunity came again to prove his worth this experience really had a deep meaning for him then he learned this i mean secret when he had succeeded in i mean swimming over the warm lake twice then he came to conclude that the greatest fear a, a man really had is the fear itself we should never try to fear because fear is our greatest enemy only death you know Uh, cripples a person the fear of death cripples a person here he quotes saying that all we have to fear is the fear itself and because he had experienced death and the terror that it could produce he will live somewhere and grieve the intensity and therefore this story teaches us the lesson that the greatest fear we have to fear is the fear itself so we should never try to be frightened while taking an adventurous task like swimming or any other venture we should always try to have a strong will power and try every way to overcome the fear because any fear that cripples our mind leads us to death we should never allow any fear to haunt us and we should try to overcome fear in our life that is what is the and theme of this story thank you very much